Hey adventurers, welcome back to another video. I'm Bruno Reblin and today we're gonna have a video a little bit different from the usual because today we are remasterizing our guitar videos. Well, to start, keep in mind that Qatar is a peninsular Arab country whose terrain comprises arid desert and a long Persian Gulf shoreline of beaches and dunes. So that's it for now. I hope you have a lot of fun throughout this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, guys. All right? By the way, that's one of the hotels we stood there, and you'll be seeing more of it soon into this video so buckle up get ready to watch this video and i really hope to see you all at the end have fun Well, the St. Regis is for sure one of the best hotels I have ever stayed in my whole life. I'm gonna leave you with my old man to explain you a little bit more. Hey guys, today we're going to have a little fun we're in, at the, pool in and the pool. And this, we're at the beach too. And the beach too, maybe. Like, yeah. 7.36 Yeah, now it's 7.36 a.m. P.m. And no, AM. 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 It's not like you said PM. Ah, it's PM. Yeah, I think. Uh, we have a beautiful beach right here. I'm going to show you guys. We have the pearl right there. It's a little foggy still because of the, the dust. You know what I mean? And I need to always call Julie because she doesn't like to be in the beach, I think, you know? No, it's just Ah, she always distracts always. <laughs> <With the Yes. laughs> she always look it because it's so beautiful here. You know, uh, we have know. this big pool right here. It's like look, a lake. Look at this dolphins right here. We need to take a picture right here later. It's a beautiful. And right here we have all the roots, but I, can, I cannot understand because it's in Arabic. Children but right here we have in English. It's a very nice hotel. I really recommend it to you guys. You guys want to come to Doha, Qatar? It's the Saint Regis. Saint Regis? How you say, Jolie? I don't know. Saint Regis. Saint Regis. Yes. Yeah. If I'm not saying it wrong, correct me, Otto. It's very nice. We have those little gazebos. You know, we have like a bed here. We have the chairs. We have a tile here. And this is a big pool, guys. Big pool, big it's pool. A lake. They have. Yeah, they have jet skis here you can rent. Kayaks. They have kayaks for free. You can get a kayak over there. Right here you have a little uh, place to play soccer in the afternoon, not in the daytime because it's very hot, you know. Right here, you guys are gonna see this. Look. Look the size of this. It's very big. Very, very big. I'm gonna Put Jolie close to you guys see. Hold on. And Jolie ordered some ice cream. Look at that. Is he gonna eat the ice or the ice cream? Huh? How about the ice and the cream? <laughs> I love this bed. Look, Katai style. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
in European atmosphere within Arabian hospitality. Al Hazm translates into the higher grounds, is a unique commercial development in Qatar. This shopping avenue is destined to cater for the region's enlightened and affluent while combining art, culture and luxury. With modern meets classic landscaping, flower gardens and centuries-old imported olive trees from Italy and Spain, Al Hazm is not only a one-stop tourist attraction, this handcrafted architectural marvel that pays tribute to Italy's timeless classicism and Arabia's finest hospitality will be home to the world's finest restaurants, trendiest cafes, and select fashion labels with everything you need at its very best. Guys, it's 120 almost degrees. We are sweating here. We're waiting for the driver, and the driver is 10 minutes away. And 10 minutes in this sun is not nice. But I mean, at the same time, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Here's the cafe. We still can hear the noise, the inside in, uh, building, and the city. It's right there, the city. The Soak Wakwif, a marketplace in Doha, Qatar, home to dozens of restaurants and shisha lounges, it is just one of the many incredible places to go visit in Qatar. Hey guys, today we are on the Soak again. Yeah, Soak Wakwif. Yes, we just wake up. I think it's still close. Today's not that hot. Maybe today's are like around 100. Yeah, it's not that bad, but it's not that good, you know. Located in the district of Al Sok, which is situated in the center of Doha, the Soka Quiff was founded at least a century ago in proximity of the dry riverbed known as Wadi Mushareb. It was a gathering place where Bedouins and locals would trade a variety of goods, primarily livestock goods. However, with the boom in prosperity in the 1990s, the Soak fell in decline and in 2003, most of it was destroyed in a fire. Despite all that, the Soak is considered one of the best locations for tourists within Doha. Thousands of people from across the region frequent it to purchase traditional goods. It hosts several art galleries, events and local concerts. So many birds, guys. Look. Pigeons. Pigeons. They say the name is Pigeons. Brazil is Pomba. Look. So many over there, everywhere, the forest, everywhere. We are trying to find um, some jewelry for my wife, but we we forget the where is the store, and she wanna buy a bracelet for her friend Celine. Try to find this for Celine. We was there last week, but we forgot the name of the store. We. We get lost, this place is big, everything's open now. Now it's afternoon, it's starting to get a little bit cooler. It was 119. Now it's around 110, you know, but it's, it's better than 119. I say cold, but it's hot. Okay, guys, we're gonna keep moving. For those of you interested in visiting the Soak, I would suggest that you go in the afternoon because if you get there too early, you might find some of the shops closed. Also, try to choose a cooler day for the sun is very hot and you might get sunburned. Cool fact, some of the policemen there ride horses. There's two sinks 
why this is to wash your hands. There's no for wash your hands. I'm wash your butt. I don't <laughs> so this is to wash your butt. This is to pee, and this is the bathroom. Mm. It's a little mess, right? A little messy because we just took a shower. Yeah, this is my favorite part because there's a TV, right? Like, mm. and you watch. It's a while, so just wait. Mm. So when you. We now take a shower and watch a movie. Yeah. This is the view of the window in our room. Okay, guys, you guys are gonna see the mess in the room right now. We have a little mess. Look. How mess up. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Steeped in Middle Eastern mystique, the St. Regis Doha is located on the West Bay near the Diplomatic District in Qatar's sophisticated capital city. The hotel borders the Arabian Gulf where sand dunes, ancient architecture and the scenic Pearl Island paint a magnificent landscape. Their timeless resort facilities comprise a cornucopia of destination restaurants and event spaces including a 21,850 square meter grand ballroom. Well, after leaving the hotel, we went to explore a little bit of the city and later on we decided to go to a desert tour, a desert safari. We wanted to ride the camels and we did. An exhilarating adventure activity that you should not miss out when you are in Qatar is the desert safari. I must tell you riding a camel is one of the most exciting things I've ever done. It feels like you're watching one of those mummy movies with Brendan Fraser. It's just amazing, I loved it. Hey guys here this place here where people hang out in the night see they sit right here and doing my face because security guys always complain when we doing a video they don't like it uh, so this is why I come here I don't see any security guy here so I pretend they're doing like a video call and you guys can see the phone in my sunglasses but okay you guys can see a little bit around it's very old style here. The city it's behind me. It's right here. I don't know if you guys can see over there, you see the little bit of the buildings, but the city is in this direction right here. Hope you guys like it. And I'm gonna post this video soon. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye. The Torch, also known as the Aspire Tower, at 980 feet is the tallest structure in Doha. Built right next to the Khalifa International Stadium, a multi-purpose stadium as part of the Doha Sports City Complex that soon enough will be home to the 2022 FIFA World Cup. The torch was built to the 2006 Asian Games Flame and it holds the record for the tallest and highest position at Games Flame ever. As far as the room, it was amazing, everything was on point, they had a very good bathroom, a nice bathtub and a gorgeous sink. Anyways, they had a robe, a safe, all the coffee you wanted with sugar and cream, a fridge in which you could put stuff in, and yeah, the room was perfect. Oh, plus, you get to control everything on your room with an iPad, like closing and opening the curtains, changing the ambient lights, changing the channel on the TV, and much, much more. This hotel sure is worth staying in and by the way, everything you search on the internet, if you are in Qatar in those areas, it will show up in Arabic, so you always have to change it, uh, you have to click over there on that button to change, you know, and translate it for you, alright? 
Well, and now we can definitely say that we had our videos playing on Qatar for hours. <laughs> Anyways, back to the hotel, while well, the iconic hotel has already attracted international attention from the high-profile sports names. European soccer teams such as Paris Saint-Germain uh, stayed at the hotel during their training camps in Doha. This 51-floor hotel features 167 rooms and suites, including single and deluxe rooms, junior suites, executive suites, and diplomatic suites. The lobby is open, very, very spacious, modern, and elegant. Okay, guys, now we are in the pool. This is the 19 floors. The pool is like outside of the building. They build it outside. It's very cool. On this side, we have the, the stadium over right here. And right here, we have the Villaggio Mall. The Villaggio Mall is right here. It's a beautiful mall. You guys have to check it out. And the pool is behind me. And as you see, we are outside of the tower. This is the 19th floor. Well, the hotel has a gym, perfect gym in my opinion, with all the essentials you would need to work out and also they have a sauna in it. So if you enjoy sauna, you can go and chill in there too. And a good and important information is that the Torch guests also have their own private entrance to the Villaggio Mall, which is Doha's largest shopping mall. The Villaggio Mall is located on Al Waldo Street in the west end of the city. Home to 50,000 visitors daily, this enormous mall has an area of 183,000 square meters meters, providing you with world-class shopping, luxury brands, retail shops, and much, much more. So right now, we're going to try to get in the other side of the mall, but it's still in construction. Look at this here. Beautiful. It's still in construction. It's this side we have to go. Try to get a cough, but now it's too late. They are having a lot of construction here still. We're going to the other side. See if we can get in. If you know, go around from the outside. Anyways, the Villaggio Mall is definitely worth visiting. If you have the opportunity to visit, just go. Don't let this slide. First, I would like to point out that they were giving away a Lamborghini and a BMW motorcycle for whoever shopped at a Dirty Free. Crazy, right? Well, apart from that, I would love to thank you guys so much for watching until here. And now I'm going to leave you guys with a nostalgic ending that we used to have for our old videos. It's a little dramatic in my opinion. I used to be very dramatic. I love movies. I love everything related to Hollywood. So I want to always make it dramatic, you know, like, a, like an actual movie when it ends. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment. And I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next adventure.